What's up my Pongios? Andy, Andy Vlogs doing a video here. As you guys know, I've actually done quite a few of these and I figured I would do another one, why not? Uh, this may or may not be applicable as everyone has now had almost a year now working from home. So for those that are interested, you can actually turn your Sony Alpha series into a webcam. So I'm gonna be showing you here that you can do the 6400 as well as the A7 Mark III. There are definitely other variations that, that are available to do this and you can check this out on the website. I will show you in just a second. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and show you how to turn these cameras into a webcam. Just as the title suggests, we're gonna figure out how you can get this webcam working. I am on a MacBook Pro, so this is gonna be how you're gonna be able to do it on Mac OS. I kinda of just typed Sony A7, you know, Mark III firmware update, and that brought me to the support page on Sony's website. You're gonna thumb over to downloads and you're gonna select this webcam about five down. Once you get there, go ahead and click download and from here it's gonna show you all of the different devices that are available to use the webcam software. The reason why you're gonna be using this is because you wanna turn your camera into a webcam for Zoom, Google Meet, Skype, Discord, all those other programs that allow you to select a webcam. You can also use this for streaming services like OBS, XSplit, and those other live streaming gaming services. Okay, go ahead and select the two devices that you want just to know, you know which one obviously is compatible and then you just download the Mac version of this webcam software. You go ahead and from here you're gonna run it you're gonna install it and approve it, and that's what this next step is gonna be. I've skipped past most of that, and I've gone ahead and installed it. Now you have to reset your computer and come back in, and ideally, you should be able to have it recognized. Now, before you go ahead and restart, make sure you go update the specific piece of software that you are looking to connect with. In this case, I was trying to set up for Zoom, and so I had forgotten and actually wasted about 20 minutes going back and forth trying to figure out why it wouldn't recognize it when I needed to update to the latest version of that software, whatever it is. Ultimately, it's like 1 a.m., and I couldn't get the A7 Mark III to work pass through webcam. I've got no idea why it doesn't work. I tried it on Google Meetings, I tried it on OBS, and I tried it on Zoom and it just doesn't connect. I don't know if there's something wrong within the internal software, but it just gets stuck on that USB PC remote, like connecting via U U USB for the Mac. I was struggling for some reason with the A7 Mark III. It wasn't connecting. So what I tried to do is I knew it could work on my A6400. So I went through all of the settings and found out here under the USB connection, it was on mass storage. And because I had the option control with smartphone on, it was automatically pushing it to mass storage rather than connect to PC or PC remote. And so you have to thumb over to control with smartphone. You have to turn that feature off that way, when you head back over to the PC remote on the settings tab on the fourth slide, you can change the USB connection to PC remote, which I have. Once you do that, now you're going to be able to connect it to your MacBook and it's going to be able to recognize it. Finally, I did it. Something was wrong with this kernel that was installed and so I had to go in and I had to factory reset this camera. So I had to go all the way down here, setting reset that I did initialize. Once I did that, it rebooted all the defaults for the camera. And then I had to connect it to my PC and the PC set up the drivers within it. And then I downloaded the image edge desktop. And then I updated that image edge desktop, disconnected the device, reconnected it. And then finally it pushed through that weird USB like symbol. And so now, this is what the outcome is. And granted, I'm using the USB type C. I'm not using the regular USB. Plug that in. And now it's gonna kick out to zoom. There it is.
Granted, you're not going to have to go through this, honestly, for your camera. It's because I bought it used and someone had messed with all the settings. When it comes stock out of the box, you're going to be able to just plug it in after you've downloaded the application on the Mac and you should be able to just plug, plug and play. I did get it to work. It just required some finagling. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching this content. If there's anything here that I didn't cover, please let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll show you down in the description all of the links to the products that I used here today to do this. Again, this does not require a capture card, but simply requiring only a micro USB cable or a USB Type-C cable. Thanks so much for watching. This is Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.